What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Redwood Fisherman. It is bright and early. I'm all packed up heading out to the coast to do some fishing. Let's go. Anyways, I'm driving through this really cool, beautiful area here of NorCal called Guerneville, California. And Guerneville runs along a very famous old river called the Russian River. Let's see if we can take a look at it as we go over this bridge. But even more interesting about this area is a place called Bohemian Grove. If you just want to Google that and read about it, you'll kind of be a little fascinated and blown away. It's a place where VIPs, dignitaries, world leaders, politicians, presidents meet and discuss world business. What kind of world business? I don't know, but it's got a very interesting history that has been documented by some people. It's a very private and secretive place. And people like me don't get to just stroll in there and check it out. But anyways, it's gorgeous and it's tucked into these mountains here. Beautiful Northern California. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the beach, go fishing, enough talking. Yeet. Slight change of plans. The place that I go kayak fishing, which is a state park for California, never actually opened the gate today. I've never actually seen the gate locked. And it's a major holiday weekend on a Saturday morning. I waited about an hour and a half for the gate to open. No one ever showed up. Kayak fishermen were lining up everywhere. They waited and gave up and went to another area to launch, which I drove to, but it was so packed, so I got out of there. So then I continued on farther up north and came to my favorite ancient Indian fishing grounds. Unfortunately, no kayak fishing today, but maybe it's all the wiser with the horrible fog that came in anyways. It's still early in the morning, I'm gonna go catch some rockfish from shore. Let's do this. I mean, this looks pretty good here. All right, we'll try this spot here. All right, first cast, let's go. This is a big, beautiful place, but every good fishing spot's already taken. So I found this spot. It's a new spot for me. I'm trying it out. I'd like to catch a fish and do a catch and cook. Let's go. Let's do that. Let's go. All right. I got a fish on here. Fish on. Let's go, boy. Let's see what it is. 
Oh! Let's go! Little tiny kelp greenling. Check this guy out. He is so cute. Look at him. A little teeny tiny kelp greenling. Wow, look how cute he is. What a cool little fish. All right, we'll get this guy off and let him go. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for making me not skunk today. Got to be real gentle with this guy. He's so tiny. All right, there he is. All right, I'm going to yeet him back in real quick. Yeet. And there he goes, and he's good. You want to see what I've got set up here. One hook has a piece of clam on it, which is about to fall off. The other one has a piece of squid. Whoa. And then I've got a, uh, a four ounce torpedo weight at the bottom that looks like this. So these are a little bit easier to not get snagged, although they do get snagged. The reason why I have this hoodie on is because the flies are really bad here. They are just annoying. So wasn't catching any fish out front, no bites, but I caught that little baby kelp grainling over here on my right. So I'm getting more bites on that side. I'm going to keep trying over there. Why don't we check back in when I'm pulling up a really nice fish? Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Number two. Let's see what you got here. Oh, yeah. Strike perch. Oh, nice. Big strike perch. Let's go, boys. Striped perch. All right. Fish number two. Look at that pretty guy. Let's go. I've caught a lot of these fish here. It's called a striped perch. They're fun to catch though and they fight really well. So check it out. Look at the beautiful colors on this fish. All right, we're gonna get this guy back in. All right, say goodbye to little Jibby, the striped perch. Yeet! Whoa! He did a really good job on his dive into the big swimming pool. I'm gonna give him a seven, 7.2, because it actually wasn't very good. All right, now that I caught a fish, I have to cast one more time, so let's see if we can catch one more. Let's go. Okay, well that's gonna be a wrap for now. I got the one tiny kelp greenling and the one striped perch. Ugh, tough day fishing. But this is my most favorite, beautiful, ancient Indian fishing grounds. The Kashaya Indians lived here. You could probably figure out where I am, but I'm in Northern California. It's a beautiful place. Check this out. No surprise that the Indians figured it out. Anyways, there is something very spiritual about this place. Something magical, I can't describe it. I've said it in years past in different videos. When you come here, you just fall in love with this place. You are drawn here. Something magical wants you to be here and spend time here. It's such a special place. And the fishing is good too, usually, but not good today. I talked to a couple other people, they caught a few fish. I ran into a subscriber who was walking by me earlier. He said hi, his name was Johnny. Johnny, what's up? Hey, hopefully he caught a bunch of fish today. I think he headed more north and into the park. He was walking by me earlier, so that was cool. Why don't we pack up everything, head back to the house and do a cookout. Let's go cook some fried lingcod and rockfish.
Let's go. Oh my god, that is so good. Mag's gonna do a taste test. Don't try, just eat that. It's hot and it's good. Yeah, it's not that hot. Yeah, it is. 